Did Yoshi P just confirm a new Final Fantasy Tactics is in the works? Not really. But I mean, we can all huff that copium anyway, can't we? My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and welcome back to the channel. Hello everyone, if you enjoy what I do, my coverage of RPGs, strategy RPGs, news, guides, etc, etc, a like on this video and a subscription to the channel would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. So what's on the docket for today? Well, I'm sure as you saw in the title and on the thumbnail, we've got some more Final Fantasy Tactics rumors slash hearsay slash copium, baby! You guys should know by now that I am 100% on board with any and all rumors, discussion, leaks, etc. about the return of Final Fantasy Tactics, whether that be a remake, a sequel, a remaster, a reborn project, something along those lines. And there's just been bubbling, burbling rumors about it for years now. Starting as far back as the infamous GeForce Now leak, which we've talked about many times on the channel before, through various different musings with, you know, certain people who may or may not have information that they can't share with us. Mr. Matsuno. As well as other fun discussion, like what we saw happen just yesterday in an article from The Gamer. This was an article done by Gabriel Castania, an interview with Naoki Yoshida, Yoshi P himself, Takeo Kujiraoka, and Michael Christopher Koji Fox on the Rising Tide DLC for Final Fantasy 16. Now, what does that have to do with Final Fantasy Tactics, you might ask? Well, this is an excellent article. I highly recommend that you go check it out, especially if you are interested in FF16, as I am, for the Rising Tide DLC that looks like it's going to be very, very cool and very much looking forward to it. However, there was one section that we're going to skip to today that I wanted to cover. Again, if you want to read this article for yourself, the link is in the description, but we have here a very interesting little section. Quote, We asked as well about using Final Fantasy XVI as the base for a new tactics title, but Yoshida, Kujiraoka, and Fox all agreed that its scale may not be the best choice for a revival. As Fox said, What would we even call it? Fox laughs. Final Fantasy 16 Tactics? That's a lot. We have a lot of our staff who worked on previous games like Final Fantasy Tactics or Final Fantasy 12, so you're going to have a lot of that tactics feel because a lot of the same people are on the team, Yoshida explained. We're very happy for you to suggest this because we're all fans, but if we were going to make this, we wouldn't want to do the same story that turns out to be a different story. When thinking about the scope of the project from strictly a size perspective, Yoshida laughs again, continuing, how would we even do the icon versus icon battles in that style? If you have the icons, how many squares is an icon going to be? You have more people out there as well, so what about the wait time in between? But the series does lend itself well to that kind of storytelling, and we love tactics as well. It's probably about time that we do a new one. And that's pretty much all that they had to say about it. They go back to discussing future DLC, the rising tide, etc., etc. Again, I recommend you check out this article for yourself if you're at all interested in Final Fantasy 16, but this is still a big deal. This is not Mr. Matsuno, love him, adore the guy, cagely dodging around the question and being like, well, I couldn't tell you about it if I was working on it now, could I? Ha ha, wink, wink, nudge, nudge when people have asked him recently on Twitter about the potential for a new tactics game, a remaster, remake, reborn, whatever. But now we have Yoshi P himself, the linchpin of Final Fantasy's current success, really in so many ways with Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 16, etc., at Square Enix, who we know he has professed is a huge fanboy of tactics, a massive fan of Matsuno, sees Matsuno as a huge inspiration, and it's rumored, kind of behind the scenes, that Yoshi P might be the reason that we even got Tactics Ogre Reborn in the first place. People citing ongoing potential clashes between Square Enix management and Matsuno, things like that, but then Yoshi P stepped in and said, no, Tactics Ogre is phenomenal. It is a classic masterpiece. We need to bring this back and see how it does. And by all accounts, it did quite well, leading people to think, well, we saw Tactics Ogre Reborn on that GeForce Now leak. We saw the Final Fantasy Tactics remake Reborn. It wasn't really clear on the same leak. Now, here's Yoshi P being like, oh, we should probably do another one of those, huh? 
kind of postulating a little bit about what that would look like in the world of FF16, saying, oh, we probably wouldn't do that, but maybe we could, like, eh, maybe we would do something else. I don't know, man, that feels pretty good. I think that feels pretty damn good. Uh, some people have pointed out on social media as well, and of course, this is pure copium, like, this is not any confirmation of anything, but they have said, typically, when Yoshi P says things like this, it's often the case that whatever he's talking about is already in the works. I saw some folks talking about about a year before Final Fantasy 16 was revealed, Yoshi P was saying, oh, well, it's about time that Final Fantasy goes back to a proper classic medieval setting, right? A year later, FF16 gets announced, and that's the most medieval fantasy Final Fantasy has potentially ever been. Mm, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying there's a possibility there. There is absolutely a possibility there. And we know that Yoshi P is a huge tactics fan. There's an entire series series of raids, single raid, I'm not quite sure how that works. I haven't gotten to it in FF14 myself, but there is an entire raid at least focusing on Final Fantasy Tactics where you go to Orban Monastery, you fight a bunch of characters from Tactics who basically become icons themselves or become Lukavi, depending on how you want to look at it. And that's literally just straight lifted from tactics. There's a bunch of different armor sets and classes and like references to tactics. There's a bunch of different class references and armor sets from tactics ogre as well. The palace of the dead in FF 14 is literally lifted straight from tactics ogre reborn. You literally fight Nybeth, the necromancer slash lich, who's one of the biggest, most impactful and well-written villains in Tactics Ogre in Final Fantasy XIV, and it's implied that he fled to FF XIV from Tactics Ogre. Like, this man loves these games. So if anyone's going to advocate for the return of Final Fantasy Tactics on top of the mounting pressure from fans for years to bring it back, it's going to be Yoshi P. Whether Matsuno's involved or not, as he says, they have a lot of people from the Tactics games in their creative business unit three. Even if for whatever reason they weren't able to get Matsuno on board, they've got the people that they would need to make something in that space. Would it be good if Matsuno wasn't on board? I don't know. Matsuno is a huge part of these games, but there's also so many people who've grown up playing them, so many people who are inspired by them, like Yoshi P himself. It's possible. And I would trust them to take a crack at it. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, but I don't know, man. It just feels like something is possible here. Now, as far as their comments about FF16 maybe not being a good base for tactics, I don't know. I don't necessarily agree with that. After all, like, let's talk about the icons for a second here. Yeah, the icons are big to huge in FF16, no doubt about that. But it wouldn't be the first time that we've seen huge creatures in a tactics game before. Let's look at two different examples here. I've got uh, some footage on screen of FFTA and FFTA2. Full credit to Moogle Boss, who I pulled the footage from. You should check them out on YouTube. Does a lot of uploads of strategy RPGs and the like, as well as Any Tactics, who has a very nice long play, 100% long play of FFTA2. Credit to them. Links are in the description, on screen, all that type of stuff. Um, but if we look at these games, these not direct sequels, but spiritual successors to the original tactics, these huge creatures are involved. In FFTA, we have the Totema, who only take up one space in combat, something that Yoshi P was talking about, like, how many squares would they take up? But they're still obviously larger than life, and then when you use their summon attacks, you can see they are actually huge creatures that can impact the entire battlefield when they attack, like an icon. Coming over to FFTA2, one of the features of that game was the fact that there actually were larger-than-life monsters that you had to fight, like this giant cockatrice here that took up multiple squares, and there were a lot of different fights like that. So there is some sort of actual precedent for huge, monstrous enemies like that in the Final Fantasy Tactics series. To say nothing of other games in the genre, there's ways to do this that I think you could absolutely get away with without warping the entire game around it. Like, yeah, you know, something taking up four squares, like a two by two, or even like a three by three, maybe wouldn't be super representative of the size of a proper icon, but it doesn't really need to be either. There's a little bit of a suspension of disbelief when it comes to tactics games. Like, oh yeah, this thing is probably actually bigger than what's being represented here, but for the sake of gameplay, it's shrunk down a little bit so we can fight it. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, if it still kind of fits scale-wise with everything that's on screen in the game, that's fine. That works. And even if they didn't do FF16, you could still have boss fights like that 
in the vein of FFT A2 that had a similar type of spirit. And I think that'd be awesome. Like imagine in a, a reborn version or a remake of FFT or even a direct sequel to it or something along those lines. If you had something like the Lukavi who took up as much space as the giant cockatrice or different things like that. How awesome would that be? Imagine the attacks that they could have. Imagine how impactful they could be. That would be super sick. I would love to see that. So I think that is absolutely something that is pretty feasible. As far as, you know, the number of characters that would be on screen, sure, in FF16, you've got massive swaths of enemy soldiers running each other down in cutscenes and things like that. But as far as actual combat in the game is concerned, that's not really nearly as much the case. And even something like the original Final Fantasy Tactics, like, we know there were huge battles with massive groups of mounted knights on chocobos running each other down. We just didn't see it. And that's fine, because it wasn't relevant to the story. Like, those weren't the fights that Ramza was engaging in. And it worked perfectly fine. I never felt the absence of that. It would be cool to see in a tactic setting, maybe as like a one-off thing, but it doesn't need to exist. So whether it's in FF16 or a different setting entirely, one of the other games in the series, hell, maybe set it in Eorzea in FF14. It's Eorzea, right? I think so, if I'm remembering correctly. That would be cool too. There's so many different things that they could do. I would love to see it. And I think there's a better than average possibility that this is a hint that something is in development. We've, again, seen it time and time again. The G-Force Now leak. Matsuno's kind of cagey, dodging the question comments. It definitely, again, had some wink-wink, nudge-nudge energy to them. Other team members talking about how, oh, well, like, the Final Fantasy Tactics team is too busy working on things to do tactics characters and songs for Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm. Like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have said that. Oh, no. Now Yoshi P's out here being like, we should probably make another one of those. I don't know, man. It just, it feels real good. It feels real good to me. My, my copium levels are through the roof. We're seeing the return of so many games from that era, whether direct returns like Tactics Ogre Reborn or homages like Unicorn Overlord for Overbattle, tons of different indie games coming out that are clearly inspired by FFT. Hell, even bigger releases like Triangle Strategy that are clearly inspired by FFT and have a ton of references to it. Square has to know that they are sitting on their hands with money on the table that people would snap up in a heartbeat. If Vanillaware can do a type of game that they've never done before, and that the world at large has not really seen in any way since the N64 with Unicorn Overlord, and have it already have sold 500,000 copies, which is a pretty damn good result for a game of its influence and kind of nicheness, you know Tactics would be way more successful. So, I wanted to talk about this. I wanted to let you all know that this interview happened, that it even came up and was discussed when it was an interview about a completely separate topic. I keep those copium levels up, boys. I think you're gonna be well rewarded very, very soon. Not that I know anything. I'm on the same, I'm in the trenches down with you. But I'm just saying, I think it's there. With that said though, that's about all I have to say for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this just the most purely refined copium and I'm I just in cloud nine, high as a kite on it? Maybe. Or? Maybe we're going somewhere. I want to know what you have to say. If there's any other interesting information that comes out in this regard, you know, of course, I will be covering it. So keep tuned here for any and all potential tactics news or anything else in the strategy RPG genre. My name has been Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.